we're gonna be making keto pumpkin spice latte it is pumpkin season so we're making another delicious pumpkin drink and it's perfect for this fall it's warm and delicious so without further ado let's jump into the ingredients the ingredients for today's recipe are 1 8 of a teaspoon of nutmeg, 1 quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, 1 8 teaspoon of ginger powder, 1 and a half tablespoons of erythritol, 1 cup of unsweetened almond milk, 2 tablespoons of pure pumpkin puree, half teaspoon of maple extract, or you can also use vanilla extract, 1 tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, and some whipped cream for our topping. And I forgot to mention it on the ingredient guys but if you need your caffeine fix like I do we're also gonna be needing ground coffee to make an espresso shot for this recipe this is optional you can skip it but again if you like caffeine we're gonna need coffee the first thing we're gonna do is to put all our ingredients in our mug almond milk whipped cream cinnamon nutmeg ginger erythritol maple extract and pumpkin puree with a fork I'm gonna mix all my ingredients together if you have a frother you can use it I don't have one therefore I'm gonna be using a fork once we have our milk mix, we're going to proceed to make our coffee. I'm going to be making mine on my espresso machine, but if you don't have a coffee machine, you can easily do this with instant coffee. I'm just using some medium roast. For my coffee, I'm going to be putting two tablespoons because I like my coffee strong. Press your coffee and into the coffee machine it goes. I'm gonna be making a single espresso shot. A little trick, when you're making coffee, sometimes you get that bitter flavor. You need to wait for the first trip to go by and then put your cup. That will help you avoid that bitter flavor that we don't like. So you need to pass that and then put your glass. Now that we have our espresso shot, I'm gonna be steaming my milk to give it that foamy and latte consistency and also to warm it up. Again, if you don't have an espresso machine, you can just warm it up in the microwave and give it a little bit of a foamy consistency with a whisk or with a fork. I'm gonna steam my milk. Once you've steamed your milk, you're going to see really big bubbles on the top of your mug. So just a little secret, tap it a couple of times into the counter and they will pop it, but the milk will remain foamy. Now, back to your mug, we're going to put your espresso shot into the mug. And I'm only going to be using half of this because I ended up making a double. And then I'm going to put my milk mix into the coffee mug. At this point, your pumpkin spice latte is ready to go. But because we're really extra, we're gonna put some whipping cream and cinnamon. Pinch of cinnamon. So, there you have it guys, your keto pumpkin spice latte. Isn't this so cute? It's perfect for Instagram, but not only that, it tastes delicious. So, let's give it a shot. So good. Uh, I just want to put my pajamas back on and stay in bed drinking this all day long. So I hope you guys liked the recipe and the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, turn on the bell notification button and leave me a comment. If you also want to follow me on my keto journey, I will be linking my social media down below. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next video.